he's working on it. Um, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Billy knows he's in, man. Yeah, Billy, you're sideways, man. That's the story of his life. He's been sideways. Well, sometimes I'm sometimes. Yeah. That's the way that the world goes round. That's the way that the world goes round. What's going on, y'all? Uh, hello to the Summit family and anybody else who, who might be listening. Uh, I'm upstairs here at our base camp store in Davidson, uh, which has been closed to the public for about a month now. Um, feels a little bit weird to be here. I'm actually sitting on a stage where I've played a bunch of shows and everybody here that you're gonna hear from tonight has played a lot of music and it's always been something that really brought us together. So we were excited to try to do something that, that could make use of this space and, and, and bring people together, uh, especially given the death of John Prine just over a week ago. Um, certainly last week would have been a time where a lot of songwriters, including the guys you'll hear from tonight, uh, would have been playing John Prine covers uh, on the summit decks and at concerts uh, across the country and um, reached out to a bunch of musician friends and um, it was easy to, to rally a crew uh, to get together and play some music. So I'm going to bring some folks in, um, starting here uh, with Josh Panda, who's going to join us from up in Vermont. Oh! What's up, Josh? Oh! There I, he is! I just introduced you as in Vermont, but you're in a great metropolis. You know, I get around. I'm not concerned about the pandemic, really. I'm fine. Well, that's, that's good to hear. I know there's a lot of us who are. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm fine. See, it doesn't affect pandas. Oh, that's I what see. I've read, so I'm fine. Perfect, perfect. Well, I'll let you get started in just a second, Josh, but I was um, thinking a lot today just about um, Summit and, and Summit Music and um, uh, my wife, Beth, and I were remembering listening to you downstairs before we even opened this upstairs stage uh, back in 2004, I think. I mean, how old were you then? In 04, I uh, was 19. Wow. Uh, yeah. With some amazing, amazing memories. Um, so, amazing memories. Uh, I've got a piece of uh, memorabilia here. I always related or wanted to relate to John Prine uh, because we both started out our lives as mailmen before oh, we dedicated our lives to, uh, is that coming through? Well, your little New York background is screwing us up. Yeah, it's all screwing us up there, isn't it? Well, there I am. Beautiful. There I am. Beauty. That's from, uh, that's from 2006. Love it. Not that long Love ago. It. Here we are. All right, Josh. Well, what do, you, what do you want to play for us tonight? I'm going to play the guitar. And what, which prime tune are you, going to, are you going to let it rip? It's prime time. I'm going to play uh, Spanish Pipe Dream. This has always been uh, one of my favorites of his. And uh, I don't know. It's just it's, his music is so lighthearted and um, always has a, a great message in it. And uh, I always love the message in this one. Brilliant. So. Well, I'm going to leave it to you. I'm going to stay here and listen. I'm going to make you full screen. Beautiful. Thanks, Tim. She was a little head dancer on the road in alcohol. And I was just a soldier on the way up the mountain, y'all. She pressed her chest against me About the time the jukebox broke Gave me a peck on the back of the neck And these words the words she spoke Blow up your TV Throw away your paper Go to the country And build you a home Plant a little garden Eat a lot of peaches Try to find Jesus on your own. Well, I sat there at the table and I acted real naive. I knew that topless lady had something up a sleeve. 
She danced around the ballroom, Lord, she done the hoochie coo. Singing her song all night long, and I mean a word with you. Blow up your TV, throw away your papers, go to the country, and build you a home. Play in a little garden, eat a lot of peaches, try to find Jesus on your own. Well, I was young and hungry and about to leave this place. Just as I was leaving, she loved me in my face. She said, you must know the answer. She said, no, but I'll give it a try. And to this day, we lived our way in hell and the reason why. We blew up our TV. We threw away our paper. Moved to the country. And built us a home. Had a lot of children, fed them on peaches. They all found Jesus on their own. Oh, Lord, we moved on the day. Had a lot of children, they all found Jesus on their own. Now, won't you move to the country? And have a lot of peaches. I know you find Jesus on your own. Oh, you're gonna gonna find Jesus on your own. Oh, you'll find Jesus on your own. Johnny Prime. Beautiful, Josh. Hey man, thanks a lot. It's great to see you. You sound great. You look great. I hope Mason and Ruth are doing all right. I know you and Mason have been doing a lot of building. I wish Otis. Mason was here. I'm talking about Otis. Sorry, man. Jeez. If Mason were here, he'd be playing slap bass all over the place. That's true. Sorry yeah, about the that. Family, no, the family is great. The family's great. And, uh, and we're excited because Ruthie, uh, we've got our second kid coming in August. No way. What an announcement. Yeah. Yeah, and so oh, we're really very excited. It's a, it's a weird time to be having a kid, but it's good to have some good news in 2020. 100%. Thanks for getting us started with that. And maybe maybe you'll uh, you know, correct my snafu there and bring, bring Mason into the world. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe it'll be a nickname. <laughs> All right, buddy. Get out of this meeting. I got to bring Rick in. All right, man. Thank you, Tim. Good to hey, see buddy. you, buddy. Appreciate it. Bye, everybody. Hey there, Mr. Spritzer. And Kevin Edwards coming at you both down there in Charlotte. They're going to try. Hey, to man. How are you guys? <laughs> Doing all right. Hey, Look Tim. at you guys. Hi, Looking beautiful. <laughs> hey, Tim. Hey, this is different, huh? This is weird. Hey, well, I was thinking, Rick, um, about kind of some of musical history, and, and obviously you guys have been around it for a long, long time, but. Uh, one of my favorite memories was early on. It was the 2005 uh, benefit concert after the Hurricane Katrina. Um, and uh, well, I, well, maybe correct, I might, I might have messed up. I may, may have been in, in response to the tsunami, but I remember doing a benefit concert um, in the month of January outside. Um, and I remember um, how Rick was so gracious to play, but he, he complained about the cold weather and you guys screwed the fire pit right up there close to the stage. <laughs> that sounds like me, Floridian. Um, the yeah, I, I, remember, I remember that benefit well. I've got video of it somewhere. I think we do, I remember seeing yeah. video, yeah. yeah. Um, as, amazingly, um, of the nine musicians joining us tonight, seven of them uh, were at that concert. Uh, right. Billy was running sound, I think. Yeah. Um, so Kevin, I'm going to ask you to mute yourself, um, okay. and we'll let we'll let Rick take it away here. Um, and Rick, I'm going to make you full screen. You want to you want to introduce uh, the song? And I know you posted a, a picture 
earlier this week on social media with your earliest uh, song book. And so maybe you can give us a little bit of context to what John Prime meant for you in the early days. There you go. Yeah. So, yeah, I recently dug this up. This is a friend of mine dubbed it the musician's desk reference. <laughs> uh, we were both working in the psychiatric field. And so there was the PDR, the musician's desk reference around. Um, and this was the, uh, First time I think I started to play in front of people, it was still like a dirty joke. I, uh, playing and writing songs was a closeted thing. But I went to school on people like Loudon Wainwright and Bob Dylan and John Prine and Greg Brown and lots of John Prine in that book. There's lots of John Prine. Um, I think it's before Big Old Goofy World got released. So that's the song I'm gonna start with. Um, Big Old Goofy World is just a lovable, great song of primes that reminds me to um, don't, you don't need to be highbrow. You don't need to speak Shakespearean English to, uh, to write a good song. Common people have great thoughts and uh, simple wisdom is sometimes most beautiful and eloquent. And I think this song is sort of a, a tongue in cheek attempt at reminding people that's what it's about. You ready? Up in the morning, you work like a dog. And it's better than sitting like a bump on the lawn. Will you mind your manners? Be quiet as a mouse. Someday you own a home as big as a house. Oh, I know a fella. He's like a horse, he knocks his own balls round that old golf course. Or oh, you ought to see his wife, she's as cute as a dish. Smokes like a chimney, drinks like a fish. There's a big old goofy man dancing with a big old goofy girl. Oh, baby, it's a big old world. Now, Elvis had a woman with a head like a rock. I wish I had me a woman that make my knees knock. She'd sing like an angel and eat like a bird. If I wrote a song, she'd know every single word. Now kiss a little baby and give that world a smile. If you take an itch, give them back a mile. Cause if you lie there like a rug and you don't give a damn. You ain't never gonna be happy as a man. Cause there's a big old goofy man dancing with a big old goofy girl. Oh, baby, it's a big old goofy girl. And I'm trying to write a song, but my head is as empty as the day is long. As clear as a bell, Lord, I should have gone to school. I'd be wise as an owl, still stubborn as a mule. This is a big old goofy man dancing with a big old goofy girl. song right 
Sorry, I was muted. That's we're all right. All, we're all getting used to this. I, my wife probably wishes we had that fun around the house. It's a strange phenomenon to be playing to an audience of one. Audience of two, man. I brought Kevin in just for you. Can't see him. I saw him. I saw him in and out, but yeah, I'm just playing to you, man. Yeah, <laughs> Kevin, are you unmuted now? I can unmute you. He's in there somewhere. He's in the Ethernet. Kevin and Rick. Yes, have, I am. There you go. Kevin and Rick have been playing music together for before I met either of them, and that's been a long time ago. It yeah. is. Yeah, I remember our first gig together. I, although I've never, I've never gotten to see Kevin all by himself. It's something I've kind of always longed for. There we go. <laughs> you got to come out on Thursday night. He runs the show. All right. <laughs> Well, let, let me uh, let me let me uh, let Rick if you can mute yourself and we can focus in on Kevin here. I don't know how uh, to do. That. I can do it too. Thanks. Um, and Kevin, you're gonna play Blue Umbrella, yeah? I am. Um, um, you t tell us just a couple of couple of sentences about the song and uh, why so it's. I, I, uh, I played this song for a long time before I re even realized it was a John Prime song. There was a, a, an old friend of mine who passed away some years ago, Jim Harrell, who uh, introduced me to this song. And then I was listening to a, and one night after we'd finished playing, I said, who wrote that song? He said, John Prine. It's like, well, it's a good song. <laughs> All right, the, the stage is yours. I'm making you full screen. Feelings are strange, especially when they come true. I had a feeling that you'd be leaving soon. So I tried to rearrange all my emotions. But it seems the same no matter what I do. Blue umbrella rest upon my shoulder Hide the pain while the rain makes up my mind Well, my feet are wet from thinking this thing over And it's been so long since I've seen the warm sunshine Just give me one good reason I promise I won't ask you anymore Just give me one extra season So I can figure out the other four Makes me wonder why you left me. Nighttime makes me wonder what I said. Next time are the words I'd like to plan on. Last time were the only words you said. A blue umbrella rest upon my shoulder. Hide the pain while the rain makes up my mind. Well, my feet are wet from thinking this thing over. And it's been so long since I've seen the warm sunshine. Just give me one good reason. And I promise I won't ask you anymore. Just give me one extra season So I can figure out the other four So I can figure out the other four Awesome. Kevin, that sounds beautiful, man. Thank you. 
I'm less familiar that with that song. song, but that 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 was that was giving me the feelings. Yeah. I'm gonna admit the next guy just because he's been waiting here. I'm gonna bring Richard McDevitt into the room if he's there. Richard, what's happening? It's not it's not your turn yet, uh, but I figured I'd give you uh, I'd warm you up with a little bit of Rick Spritzer if you didn't mind uh, hanging out in the room and listening. That's fine. I'll just uh, let me go up here and. And mute myself. Yeah, that's what we've been doing. You look great, man. Wow. Hey, Richard. Been a while. All right, so Rick, how much, yes, we're going back to you for the speed of the sound of loneliness. For uh, speed of the sound of silence or whatever, huh? <laughs> that was a <laughs> that was a matchup. Yeah. How's the lighting over here? Can you uh, see? Okay, you look decent. Well, listen, I got like a desk lamp sitting on top of two cat litter boxes, not one. I think that right height. I haven't seen you look this in years. Showered and everything. All right, I'm bringing you full screen. All right, man, thanks. So this is a, a beautiful song uh, called "Speed of the Sound of Loneliness," and it's a it's a heart it's a heart tugger for me. Another beautiful. Simple song, simple is beautiful, beautiful is simple. You come home late, you come home early. You come home big when you're feeling small. You come home straight, you come home curly. Sometimes you don't come home at all. So what in the world has come over you? What in heaven's name have you done? Broken the speed of the sound alone. Out there running just to be on I got a heart to burn to the fever I got a worried and a jealous mind How can this love last forever? Get a little far behind So what in the world's gonna hold you? What in heaven's name have you done? Broken the speed of the sound of loneliness. Out there running just to be on. It's a mighty mean and dreadful sorrow Cross the evil lie today How can you ask me about tomorrow When we ain't got one word to say So what in the world's come over you? What in heaven's name have you done? Broken the speed of the sound alone. Yeah. Out there running just to be on. Out there running just to be on. Out there running just to be on. Thanks, Tim, for letting me do this, man. Oh, Rick, man. So good to see you. I miss yeah. having you up here. Uh, doesn't feel the same, but 
Uh, feels good nonetheless. Love you guys. You too. So Richard, I'll give a little introduction here. Um, I'm on the stage right now at Summit upstairs, and, and Richard is is part of Grievous Angels, a, a band that has uh, un, undeniably put more rock and roll uh, on this stage and, and probably more amplification on this stage than anybody. Uh, but I suspect... like a lot of two bands, it's true. It's true. be a little different here tonight. But uh, when we started texting back and forth about this show, you... You, you talked about learning this song that you're going to play when you were in high school. Can you, can you give us a, uh, just a little bit of context here? Oh, oh yeah, of course. Happy to. Um, you know, John Prine said he wrote this song when he was 14 years old. And I, I think I probably met uh, John's music when I was in middle school. And I probably learned to play this song when I was 16 or 17. And I remember at the time thinking, uh, that I love John Prime because he could take uh, simple words, and simple chords, and simple music and uh, lovingly reveal all this complexity about what was going on around us. It was just beautiful to watch. And I remember that first record, uh, you know, there's some artists that uh, first records can be pretty amazing, but John Prime's first album is unbelievable. I mean, it, the emotions on it are all over the palette. It's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful work. And uh, so I, I learned to play this song uh, in probably in high school. And, uh, you know, the funny thing about it is it's a really simple song, but that's no guarantee that I'll get through it cleanly tonight without <laughs> making any mistakes. But I'm uh, not sure that's you know, the point. John, uh, oh, it's all good. Uh, you know, John can be uh, very serious and cut right to your heart. He's got a dry and wonderful sense of humor. So I thought a more humorous one would be right. fun uh, when we're trying to celebrate the, you know, the artists that we want. So that's what I was Awesome. Well, thanks for being here, Richard. I'm going to make you full screen, and I'm just going to sit back and enjoy it. Okay, up. <laughs> I don't care if the sun don't shine, except some good people. I don't care if it never stops raining, except the kids are afraid of thunder and sour things. Laugh and stare. I don't care if I have a friend Except some folks will say I was crazy I wouldn't work because I don't need money Except the same folks that say I was lazy Sour days Laugh and stare Sour days I don't care now that she's gone. I was planning on leaving her anyway. All the things that we said back then. No, that don't mean a thing today. Say sour grapes. Laugh and stare. Sour grapes. Hey there. I like it. I'm going to, I'm going to, as, as we're wrapping up with you, I'm going to bring in Mike Orlando here just to get things moving along. Um, you Richard, how are you doing? You doing okay though? Hey Mikey. Hey, I'm going to kick you out Richard and, and let Mikey have center stage, but thanks for being here, man. It means a lot. And we'll see you on the other side. Thank you for inviting me. It's great to see your face. Give Beth a big hug for me. And, uh, 
Uh, use that second take. That's my advice. <laughs> hey, Demi. Mikey, what's up, man? Hi. Good. I can almost hear you from here. Yeah, I bet you're right around the corner. And well, actually, I'm at. I'm you're at Summit. I see you at Summit. Yeah, I went upstairs here. Just, I think I figured it'd be a little quieter away from the kids, and I also just kind of wanted to be here and figured no one else has been up here in a month. That's right. Um, so it's probably okay. We've been talking a little bit about, I've been getting nostalgic on the, on the, on the show here tonight about music history. And obviously you and I go back before summit music, but uh, we've been talking about one of the earlier benefit concerts and how every, almost everybody here tonight participated. But I remember that you, uh, participated as part of a trio with, uh, with my brother, Brian, another owner of summit, <laughs> I think calling yourselves three piece nugget, maybe I'm not sure. <laughs> uh that's like 22 years ago yeah well, you're, you're in the front front corner of uh i think it was you spencer and brian <laughs> yeah yeah i'll do it again too if i want <laughs> uh listen mikey thanks so much for being here um you know it means a lot trying to it's it's it, i mean i'm selfishly it's been special to sit here and watch a bunch of familiar faces come across the screen and uh hear some good music so uh, feel free to introduce the, the song in, in any way you want or just get after it. I'm going to put you on uh, full screen here and let you go for it. All right, man. I'm glad to have you back, even if we can't hang out. <laughs> uh, I guess I didn't introduce the song. This is a uh, John Prine tune <laughs> called Please Don't Bury Me. Um, and I realized after we selected it that, you know, this was his hereafter song. So um, it made me think he's probably cut himself up into pieces. Woke up this morning, put on my slippers, walked to the front porch and I end up with what a feeling as my soul goes through the ceiling. On up to heaven I did When I got there they did say John it happened this way You slipped up on the floor and hit your head And all the angels say just before you pass away The very last words that you said Well please don't bury me down in the cold cold ground I'd rather have them cut me up and pass me on the ground well, don't my mind in the hurricane and I can have my eyes Left and take both my ears and they don't mind the Well, get my, get my stomach to Milwaukee if they run out of beer Put my socks in the cedar box, just get them out of here Venus is my look and have my heart look out, I've got to know Sell my heart to the dumb man and give my love But please don't bury me down in the cold, cold ground I'd rather have them cut me up in the past beyond the ground Well, blow my mind in the hurricane and the blind can have my eyes Death can take both my ears if they don't mind the sun Kicking you out, Mike. <laughs> I'm, bringing in, I'm bringing in Jake Troth. He's in the waiting room. Let's see if he's ready. All right, man. Thank Thanks, you. man. Mr. Troth. 
What's up? Are you ready for me? Yeah, I'm ready. What are you doing? Ready for the world? Uh, I've had a couple people, you know, you're, you weren't next in line, but there you were in the waiting room and no one else was there. And so I was like, man, it must be time to, to say hey to Jake. How are you, man? I'm all right. I'm all right. I've been, it's been a full day. This is a nice way to round it out. Um, so I'm going to try to do something here um, and share my screen. Let me see if I can do this. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I, I was so struck by this photo when I saw it come across my Instagram feed. Um, there's you with John. And, and, and so I just wanted to give you a, an opportunity to say a little bit about maybe this moment or how you guys are connected. Yeah, uh, that's at RCA Studio A where I did my album. And uh, Dave Cobb, who produced my record, also did John's last album, uh, mm -hmm. Tree of Life. And I got to hang out with John for a little bit when he was doing some promo stuff. So I have, I caught some footage of him and Jason Isbell wow. and Amanda Shires and Dave Cobb all playing together inside the studio and I was just watching from behind the glass and I got up the courage to go like talk to him and he happened to be like the nicest guy on the planet and then it wasn't until after that that I, I was talking to my godfather who is close friends with John that, and I didn't realize but they they go fishing a couple times a year I guess John was really big and efficient and uh, there's a group of old songwriters from Nashville that go out a few times a year and try to catch fish in some place that they'd never been before. So it might be Arkansas or um, the mountains of Tennessee or wherever. They they were going um they were going and staying a couple weeks up at cabins and just fishing. So I thought um, this would be a great song. Playing fish and whistle would be a great song uh, to do. Yeah, we'll have what a cool. Yeah, he's great. He was, he's so nice. That uh, he was so nice, and everyone that everyone that got to spend a bunch of time with him, they wrote pages and pages of uh, kind words about him and how they about how he touched them and m made their music so much better and made their work so much better and their communities and all that. So. Yes, he, he, he was a great, great guy, and uh, I'm sad to hear about him passing, but I'm so glad that he was as prolific as he was, because right. now when I get to learn these songs, it's like he, it's, he's, he's just right. He's just right here, so that's good. Beauty. Well, listen, man, I'm going to make you full screen here and let you, let you uh, go for it. You hear me? All right. thinking lately about the people I meet, the car wash on the corner in the hole in the street, the way my ankles hurt with the shoes on my feet, I don't know if I'll even last tomorrow. Father, forgive us for what we must do. You forgive us and we'll forgive you. We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue. We'll whistle and go fishing in heaven. was in the army, but I never dug a trench. Used to bust my knuckles on a monkey wrench. I go to town to drink and give the girls a pinch. But I don't think they ever even noticed me. Fish and whistle, whistle and fish. Eat everything that they put on your dish. And when we get through, we know we'll make a wish that we'll never have to do this again, again, again. On my very first job, I said, thank you, please. They made me scrub a parking lot down on my knees. Then I got fired for being scared of bees. They only paid me 50 cents an hour. Fish and whistle, whistle and fish. Eating everything that we had on our dish. When we get through, you know, we'll make a wish that we we'll never have to do this again, again, again. Father, forgive us for what we must do. You forgive us and we'll forgive.
forgive you. We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue. Whistle like a fish in heaven. Yeah, Father, forgive us for what we must do. You forgive us and we'll forgive you. We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue. Whistle like a fish in heaven. We'll whistle and go fishing in heaven. Yeah, we'll whistle and go fishing in heaven. Beautiful. Jake, it sounds great, man. It's good to see you. You look great. Um, uh, I don't know if we're going to introduce you to any new audience through this uh, little show, but um, it is as if, um, which is Jake's latest record, is truly special. Um, it gets heavy play at the Helfrich House. Um, uh, I know this is a, a tough time to not be not be getting on stages and and introducing people to the music, but but thank God we have that recording, and uh, I hope you're still writing music. I know you are. Yeah, every day I, I've been trying to write a little for myself and then a little for other people too. It it's tough. Uh, it, once you start collaborating with people all the time, and you and then you spend a bunch of time alone, you start to really, really crave getting in and writing with other people a lot more. So. I'm hoping this all finishes up and passes over soon because uh, I got a bunch of half finished ideas to start finishing up with people. Well, I know, I know all of us are, are just missing the collaboration wherever it happens. Um, yeah. Hopefully this, uh, if nothing else, it reminds us how much we need each other. So thanks for being here for us tonight. Uh, obviously special to have you be a part of it. I'm going to kick you out. I'm going to bring in the mayor um, and we're going to, we're going to move it on to the finish. All right, man. Thank you so much for having me. See you, brother. See you. All right. Let's see if we can get the mayor in here, Mr. Rusty Knox, who was uh, hosting a town board meeting here just within the hour, uh, but and who whose message about COVID-19 uh, I was just listening to after dinner tonight. Um, so this is my second time seeing Rusty tonight. The first time he was he was wearing a tie, um, but he hasn't shaved since then. So good to see you, Rusty. What's up, brother? How are you, man? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm doing okay. I'm up here at uh, Summit, if you can't tell. And, uh, I can. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm in the upstairs here and on the stage, and uh, I figured I'd, I'd be here and warm it up just a little bit. No one's been up here in about a month. Yeah, no. Miss it. Miss it bad. Yeah, well, listen, so uh, you were one of the first people I thought of just because listening to your music, it's not, a, it's not hard to, to, connect, uh, to connect it to John Prine, even just as a listener. But, um, you know, once I reached out, you were pretty quick to respond and, and, and talk about how important he was to you when you were learning the guitar. So if you want to, I'm going to turn it over to you if you want to say a, a few things. Um, about it before you you go and play that's that's up to you we'd love to hear from you otherwise I'm making you full screen buddy awesome thanks Tim I appreciate it so yeah John Bryan um, I had a lot of influences um, growing up listening to music uh, there was nobody that I really wanted to emulate other than Brian because he, he spoke to me in a different manner he was just a guy on a guitar and, and, and for me, uh, you know, I look at this journey that I've had playing the guitar and I have not been playing out that long, but I, I like going back to where it started for me and that's just a guy on a guitar. Uh, and, and that's why, you know, for me, I could identify with him besides the fact that everything was three chords and you're done. Uh, I could just identify with, with, with what he was about, because he wrote real life and real time stuff. And, uh, you know, this song that I'm going to play tonight, Rocky Mountain Time, I've got my oldest son lives out in uh, Haley, Idaho. Uh, he's a firefighter EMT and is on the front lines right now with the COVID-19 pandemic. 
And uh, so once he moved out there after college, uh, so he's been out there a long time, uh, everything went to Rocky Mountain time. And so that's why uh, this song in particular spoke to me. Now, I'm not full screen. Do I need to be? Are you good? Do you... You're full screen on my screen, which is the one that matters. Okay, well, that that's all that matters for me then. Um, so I don't really have a lot to say. This is just a, it's just a cool prime song, so I hope you enjoy it. It's called Rocky Mountain Time. Walk in the station, trains draw on. Station was empty, trains were all gone. Reached in my pocket, waited till dawn, and the clock played the drums. I hung the slacks, and the wind whistled down. Railroad tracks, eight, three, four, quarter, one, four, nine. I'll get it tomorrow by Rocky Mountain time. Walked in the restaurant for something to do. Waitress yelled at me, so did the food. And the water tastes funny when you're far from home. But it's only in the Thursday who's powder to brawl. We'll build a castle on Main Street and pretend that we're down on the farm. Well, we'll hold out as long as we have to. Till we twist off each other's bars. Christ, I'm so lonely and confused. And he makes it to my brain. Too young to know where I'm going. But I'm too old to go back again. Station was empty, trains were all gone. I reached in my pocket, waited till dawn, and the clock played the drums. And I hung the sacks, and the wind whistled down. The railroad tracks, eight, three, four, quarter, one, four, nine. I'll bet it's tomorrow on Rocky Mountain time. I'll bet it's tomorrow. On Rocky Mountain time, I'll bet it's tomorrow. On Rocky Mountain time. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Rusty, it's good to hear from you. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring Billy in here in a second here. He's he's gonna wrap it up for us tonight. Um, but I was thinking, I don't know if Billy's ready. We've tried to bring him in a couple times. Yeah, uh, Billy, sure. you're sideways, man. <laughs> That's the story of his life. He's been sideways. Well, sometimes upside down. All <laughs> right, Rusty, I'm kicking you out of here unless you want to say hi to Billy real quick. Nah, I'll talk to Billy later for sure. Thanks, Tim, for everything. All right, Rusty, be good, man. Bye, brother. Oh, I hear you now. You there, Billy? How's that, brother? Yeah. All right, man. Good to see you. Man, it's wonderful to see you, Mr. Helfrich. We're trying to do something tonight, and we've been talking about uh, some of the music history at Summit. I've been getting nostalgic here, sitting upstairs by myself and uh, thinking about all the – history and you know we've most of the guys that have been on here tonight have played that summit for 16 17 years and uh, it's kind of fitting that we're gonna we're gonna end the show with you tonight uh, and you being oh, really the one who's, who who was the first so I, I you know so the set list got a little bit scrambled here um, but as I'm sitting here thinking about wrapping up this show I, I can't uh, I can't imagine a better song to go out with than the one that you're about to play. Uh, you're a pretty articulate fellow with a pretty deep soul, so I'll let you say a couple of sentences and uh, and and then just just serenade us out, uh, send us back into the world. Well, thank you, uh, and um, 
I appreciate, like I said, the opportunity. Um, it's, it's really amazing, especially to, to jam with my brothers. And I can't wait to see uh, everybody uh, and their performances. It's going to be really amazing. Um, this song is uh, written about John Prine's parents. And um, what an old soul at 20 or 22 years old or even younger sometimes to be able to write these tunes about old people. Um, and uh, it's, it's truly amazing. Uh, I've heard story after story after I, um, this week about this song. Um, but if I could do anything, I would, I would want to send people towards a John Prine record called uh, The Singing Mailman Delivers. And it's a live uh, two CD wherever you get your music from. It's absolutely amazing. It sounds about the place of the inside of Upstairs Summit. And John Prine's just giving it out and he's telling every single story about every single song. So I would, uh, I would love for everybody to go check that out if they really love this music. Uh, this one's called Paradise. And, um, and I'm so grateful to just be able to sing it for you. So thank you. Sometimes we travel right down the green river to the abandoned old prison on the hill, where the air smelled like snakes and we shoot with our pistols. And empty pie bottles was all we would kill. Daddy, won't you take me back to Newburgh County? Down by the green river where the paradise lays. Well, I'm sorry, my son, but you're too late in asking. Just to keep out of school trains all day long. Where the cold country found in the world's hard to shove. They abandoned the timbers and stripped all the land. And they dug for their coal till the land was forsaken And wrote it all down as the progress of man Daddy, won't you take me back to Muhlenberg County Down by the Green River where there was my sleep Well, I'm sorry, my son, but it's too late now Mr. Peabody's school train is hard in a way. Well, I let my ashes flow down the green river. Let my soul roll on up to the Rochester Dam. I'll be halfway to heaven with paradise we and just five miles away from wherever I am. Daddy wants to take me back to Newburgh town. Down by the Green River where paradise lay. Well, I'm sorry, my son, but it's too late to ask. Just to be by this cold train, it's hard to get my man i love you no oh, billy man it feels like we're together apart that's what i'm hoping that's what i'm hoping this this little video does for people i i think this the internet's gonna be spotty people are gonna sound great at times and iffy at times and uh sure. it's a but it, it strikes me as a kind of authentic 
uh, document of, of the time we're in and, uh, you know, we're, we're relying on sometimes fraying internet connections, but uh, the realness of the human connections uh, do come through. They really do. Yeah. Uh, um, one thing I've always uh, prayed for before I get up on stage, and I learned this way back at Summit, was uh, I just want to be a light for somebody. Um, it doesn't matter if I know it or not, but I hope that's the same thing that this video uh, and this live show gives to people from Summit. Yeah. You know, it's a light uh, you know, in a kind of a dark time, man. And thanks for always being a partner and trying to pull people together through music. That's the way the yes, sir, brother. I love you. Thank you for the opportunity. Oh, man. Be good to your teeth. Messed around with it, so that's nothing. Give it a go. Don't, don't run that.